Get ready for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Cue the Morgan Freeman voice. Elements are all around us. The air we breathe, the water we drink, and the things we build with. Elements are a part of everyday life and cannot be replaced. Join me for a walk through the periodic table of elements. I'm Wilton and uh, I'm going to teach you how to understand all this elemental madness. Okay, the number above the two letters usually two, it can be more depending on the element. But the number is the atomic number, and that is the amount of protons in the atom of the element. Now the number below, which is usually a decimal, but uh, for the sake of this I'm using a whole number, uh, is the atomic mass, which is the sum of the protons and the neutrons in the atom. The reason it's usually a decimal is because think about how you're trying to cram something into a confined space Half the time, you're not going to get all of it in there, only a portion. Uh, and lastly, the actual letters are the atomic symbol, which is just a shorter way to explain the element so that it can all fit in one big grid. All right, all of these colors that you see uh, are called families. Each color is a different family. The families are divided up into two separate groups, metals and nonmetals. Nonmetals are a group of halogens, noble gases, metalloids, and other non-metals. The metals group is alkali metals, alkali earth metals, transition metals, post-transition metals, lanthanides, and actinides.